In this video tutorial I will show you how to create a Christmas snow globe and for this we will use several textures that you can download from textures for Photoshop for free. You can find the download link in the description below. So let's get started. We'll start with the background layer which is filled with white and I added a few layer styles to it and I added a color overlay which is orange and a gradient overlay and I chose a radial uh, overlay with the settings uh, for the gradient that goes from uh, dark gray to gray and this is how the background looks I then added a snow globe texture and because the original snow globe texture was not transparent I had to do some modifications to it and here's I did it. So first of all I added a mask then I uh, hit the background layer to get a transparent background and then clicking on the mask I went to image apply image and using the default settings I click OK then while on the mask I click Control I to invert the mask and I have uh, snow globe which is transparent because the snow globe should be uh, glass that is transparent however this is a bit too transparent so to modify it I go to image adjustment levels and play around a bit with the settings so if I drag this white point down a bit and push up the dark point to something like this and also drag the midpoint down a bit okay so using these settings I get a snow globe which is transparent another thing that I did is I added a few layer styles to the snow globe I used an inner shadow and an inner glow and here's what these effects do they just build up the effect of uh, the sphere that is the snow globe to give it a more 3D look you can grab these settings that I use here in the layer styles from the PSD file that I will post in the description of this video okay so going further we want to uh, first show the background layer and then we will work on the contents of the snow globe which we want to look something like this and here's how to do it I prepared a group which contains all the textures that I will place inside the snow globe first we'll use this uh, frozen snow texture and uh, uh, I put this in the group because I want to use a mask on the group to only show uh, the textures inside the snow globe so to do this I will click control on uh, the snow globe texture and then clicking on the group and click the mask icon I get this mask that uh, shows uh, only what is inside the snow globe then on the frozen snow texture I want to use this as a base for what the contents of the, the snow globe so I will also use a mask here and then using a brush with the opacity to 100% and a soft brush with a color black I'll just mask out parts of this texture and leave only a base for it okay next I'm using this horse uh, this uh, rocking horse texture to uh, place inside the snow globe and it appears as if it sits on the snow that we put in uh, a bit earlier then I'm using this uh, fur branches texture and as you can see this texture is only visible inside the snow globe because I'm using the mask and then I'm using a levels adjustment layer and to add an adjustment layer for the levels you just go to adjustment layers and click levels and here are the settings I push down a bit on the white point drag the dark point up and also the midpoint to the right bit 
and this creates a scene with a bit more contrast to it. The next texture I used is this uh, uh, snowing texture, which looks like this. So to blend it with the snow globe, I just switched the blending mode to screen. And also I added uh, another texture, which is this bokeh lights texture. And to blend it in with the rest of the content, I just switched the blending mode to screen and pulled down the opacity a bit. Good. The next thing we want to do is to enhance the snow globe to make it look even more like a glass snow globe. So I duplicated the snow globe texture and placed it on top. And for this I also used a few uh, effects. Uh, so first of all I switched the blending mode from normal to screen and then the layer styles that I used are just uh, a bit of inner glow, uh, then a gradient overlay, so he's without the inner glow and with the inner glow, then this is what the gradient overlay does, it just adds a bit to the depth of uh, the snow glow, and I also added an outer glow just to make it look a bit uh, like it's glowing. Uh, and now we get this effect which uh, looks nice, however it, it makes the glass of the snow globe a bit too opaque, so to make it a bit more transparent I used another levels adjustment layer. So uh, uh, this layer with the levels I just took the dark point and bring it up a bit, just like this. Now we have these nice highlights in the snow globe and the glass is uh, a bit more transparent. Okay, now we have this snow globe and uh, I just added a uh, base to this snow globe and here's how it should look like. Okay, and I'll quickly explain how I made this. So. First of all, I made a shape by choosing a vector shape, a rounded rectangle, and I just drew a rectangle underneath the globe, something like this. And okay, so now uh, to modify this vector shape, I just go to the add anchor point tool, and I can add the point here by clicking on it and then using the keyboard to drag it down with the down arrow key and then add another point here and drag it to the left and add another point here and drag it to the right and also add another point here and drag it a bit down and this is basically how you get a shape that looks uh, like a base for the um, for the snow globe. Okay, let me delete this. So uh, now that I have a shape for the base, I want to add a texture to it. So I used this uh, wood texture. Let me show you how the texture looks like. Originally this was a uh, wood texture with straight lines and to get to this shape, to make it a bit rounder, I used Edit, Transform and the Warp tool. And this allows me to drag on these points and make the texture uh, rounder. And because this is on top of the shape, I can right click and say create clipping mask. And now the texture is only visible in the part where the base is. Now to give the base a bit of depth so that it looks 3D, I used a couple of layer styles and I used an inner shadow just to give the shadow of the snow globe. So the, the snow globe casts a shadow on the base. Then we have an inner glow. And then we have this color overlay just to make the texture appear a bit lighter. And then we have this uh, gradient overlay uh, with these settings. 
and this creates this 3D look to the base. One last uh, detail for the base is uh, this uh, shadow uh, and it's very easy to create the shadow. I uh, simply use the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse underneath and if you double click on it you can select black as the color and then go to filter blur and Gaussian blur it will ask you if you want to rasterize the layer and yes we want to rasterize it and then you just play around with the settings of the blur not too much you can go as high or as low as you want to and of course you can duplicate it and resize it and build up a shadow effect that looks more like this. Another thing is that I added a metal plate to this uh, base and uh, I created this metal plate simply by choosing a vector tool to create a rectangle and uh, I just added a few layer styles to this rectangle we have an inner shadow that gives this 3D look to the plate, a gradient overlay with some gold colors. So this gradient overlay with the gold colors makes this look like the, the plate is made of gold or brass. And we also have a drop shadow to add to the 3D effect so that the plate looks embossed. And then I added a bit of text and this text okay and we have this text uh, on top of the plate and this text is uh, made with a bakery regular font and this font you can find uh, for free online and the layer styles for this text are just bevel and emboss inner shadow a bit of inner glow a color overlay to make it dark and a drop shadow which is very subtle and you get these uh, embossed letters in the metal tag of the base all right so we're getting there uh, we have uh, just a few touches uh, to make and the uh, one is a trick that I uh, use often to make the result look sharper so if I click Control Shift Alt and E, this creates a copy of all visible layers and it merges those layers into one image. And then I can use this to go to Filter, Other and High Pass with a setting of around 3 pixels is good. Then if I switch the blending mode to Overlay, I get this effect and is without the high pass filter and this is with the high pass filter and as you can see I have a sharper image the last thing that uh, I did is I added a border to this to make this look more like a Christmas card and it's very easy to to create a border like this let me just show you if I click control shift and so I made a new layer and then if I hit uh, Shift F5, this fills up the layer. Uh, I'll drag down the fill to zero because I don't uh, need the fill of this layer and then double clicking on the layer I go to Stroke. And then I uh, choose a light yellow for the border and make the size as big as I need and that's it so here it is the final result I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, you have the uh, links for the textures uh, in the description below if you have any questions about this tutorial please don't hesitate to drop a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible